going to be testing a customer sample piece on our Model 1 Ames Standard Portable Hardness Tester. Now the purpose of this demonstration is to show you just how easy it is to operate the tester. As a sample piece, we're using a small clip, a spring type steel. I'm using a diamond penetrator with a flat anvil. I'm going to be measuring in the C scale, which requires a 10 kilogram minor load and a 150 kilogram major load. First thing I want to do is initialize the dial indicator itself. And I simply do that by rotating the bezel, setting the dot directly under the tip of the stylus of the indicator. Next, we're going to trap the part between the anvil and the penetrator, and I'm going to establish my 10 kilogram load. I simply do that by rotating the dial, the hand wheel, uh, clockwise until I bring the dial indicator to the set mark. At this point, we'll want to establish the zero point of the tester itself, and to do that, I simply rotate the barrel dial and rest the pin directly on top of the magnifier. Next, we're going to grab the hand wheel and we're going to rotate it all the way up to 150 kilogram, which is required for the C test. Once at 150 kilogram, I'm going to reverse direction of the hand wheel and bring that dial indicator back to the set point. Now, at set, I'm going to look through my viewfinder I have a scribed black line across the magnifier and I can see right through this magnifier to the barrel dial underneath. And what I've got down there are the C scale numbers in black. In red we have the B scale. We measured in C so those are the numbers that I'm going to be looking at. And if we look close you can see the line or underneath the number 40, there's a thick line, and then off to the left-hand side, there's little hash marks. Each one of those small hash marks is two points. The large, broad line underneath the number itself is the whole number, or in this case, 40. And those, so you can see, are set up in 10-point 10 10, uh, increments. So what we're looking at is 40, which is the black line underneath the 40, and then we're sitting uh, right at that, right in between the broad line and the first hash mark, which would make us a 41. That completes the test. From that point, we can simply back off and remove the part. And we're ready for the next test. We want to thank you for your attention. Should you have questions, please feel free to contact us by email, telephone, or fax. To place an order, you can reach us at either location.